Oklahoma Folklife Council, the Arts Council of the State of Oklahoma, and the National Endowment for the Arts in Washington, D.C. There are evaluation forms available up here, and one thing that we do is request that you do fill out an evaluation form and tell us what you think and give us suggestions on how to improve our next folk festival. In 1934, Bob Wills, Johnny Lee Wills, Tommy Duncan, Everett Stover, June and Kermit Whalen, and O.W. Mayo arrived in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The night of February 9, 1934, they went on the air and established a tradition and a form of music that has never been matched. Western swing is a combination of pop, blues, jazz, country, folk. It is the ultimate form of American music, a combination of all. In 1982, when Johnny Lee Wills and all his boys were in Washington, D.C., they started with 10 people in the crowd, and 10 days later, over 2,000 people were gathered around stomping, don't go, don't go, don't go. Johnny Lee Wills entertained more people in the 50 years that he had his band here in Oklahoma, along with the Texas Playboys in the early days. And then in 1942, Johnny Lee Wills and all his boys, and they took over the radio show and the rodeo in Tulsa. Johnny Lee Wills provided entertainment for more people than any other person in the history of Oklahoma. And every day at noon, either Frank Sims or Johnny Ryan would step to the microphone and say, General Mills and Lero Feed present Johnny Lee Wills and all his boys.
luck to you, may God bless you. I can't say I won't love again, but you go your way and I'll go mine, cause time changes everything.
Bells Band. A big hand for them. The hottest western swing band in America today. And on the piano, moving it. The big Something that he used to do for a living. The man who joined Johnny Lee Wills in 1943. The greatest of the western swing piano men, Clarence Cagle from Tulsa. A legendary rhythm guitarist, bass man, and you name it, musically, worked with Leon McAuliffe, Bob Wills, Johnny Lee Wills, you name it, he's worked with them all. From Maysville, Oklahoma, Bob Kaiser. <laughs> and we don't really know how to introduce the next man. He's worked with Benny Goodman. He's worked with everybody. And yeah, as Roy said, he just can't hold a job. You hear him here in Oklahoma City because he's very popular around the city. From Oklahoma City, the one and only Benny Garcia. the mighty mouse as Glenn said and the band leader the man who puts them all together who runs homes and answers to candy Roy Ferguson on rhythm and lead guitar a legendary singer and fiddle player who's worked with all of the great western swing bands he started with Johnny Lee Wills in Tulsa in 1945 was with Johnny Lee's for 11 years with Bob and then with Hank Thompson quite a few years. The great vocalist, one of the all-time great swing fiddlers, Curly Lewis. A man who's been working and worked with Johnny Lee many years and does fiddling with Curly and the band and is very popular throughout Oklahoma, another Tulsa, Neil Gord. And a man who needs no introduction, in fact, he doesn't even deserve an introduction. <laughs> Known by all by the quality of his voice, the only man who's blown the most powerful speaking system in Washington, D.C. The man who got arrested in the Metro for yelling too loud. We go along down a long line of, of great things, but the one and only Club Reese, Glenn Reese, Collinsville. Also a gentleman who, well, he, he defies introduction. We'll just say one of the great clarinet players, saxophone player. He'll be coming up later showing his own unique talents. From Enid, Oklahoma, Rudy Martin. A trumpet player who started working with Johnny Lee while, he, while Mike was a student at the University of Tulsa. Another Tulsan worked with Johnny Lee for quite a few years, played at the Caravan Ballroom. One of the hot trumpet players in America today, Mike Bennett from Tulsa. And on the steel, a man who's known throughout the country music and western swing worlds, worked with Freddie Hart and many, many other great bands on the road today from Broken Era, J.D. Walters. On the back row, hidden away from everyone, the tall one in the group, he and his father ran the caravan ballroom in Tulsa, were very close friends, worked with Johnny Lee Wills for many, many years on bass, John Cummins. And on drums, we have another man who started working in Western Swing when he was 15 or 14 or 13 years old. He's been with all of them, and as Johnny Lee used to say, stand up and take a bow, Tommy. I have <laughs> Tommy Perkins from Oklahoma City.
the Johnny Lee Wills Band. It was Johnny Lee Wills and all his boys for many, many years. And then, due to the changing nature of society, he added a person, and he always introduced the beautiful Candy No as Johnny Lee Wills and all his boys and one person. Candy and Roy own the Roy and Candy Music Store in Tulsa. Candy No!
Kevin is talking and Rory won't let me talk. <laughs> oh, that Blub said that was Blub's bounce spooky instead of bum bounce spooky. A big hand for Candy No. Candy has a tape, a uh, tribute to Johnny Lee Wills that was produced this past year, and I'm pretty sure it's available at this time. Johnny Lee was extremely proud of his 50 years of entertainment in Oklahoma, bringing more satisfaction and entertainment than any other musician or entertainer the state has had. But the greatest pride in Johnny Lee's life was his son, John Thomas Wills, and now working with the band is John Thomas Wills. couldn't talk very good with all this sinus. I don't play the fiddle very good. And so uh, you guys are just, uh, I'm sorry about this, but I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to try to sing one here. Let me see. Uh, we better move that down a step. Maybe be Oh, okay. We'll try that. Okay.
crying. Leave you alone. If you don't plan, I'm leaving. Then count the days I'm gone, cause you don't need. You won't see my sweet face no more. Yeah, you're gonna be wondering, baby, where in this world I'm gone. Yeah, them old Of course, no one did it like Dad, but I don't even know if he'd want me doing it, but I bet he would, but I did the best I could. I cry myself to sleep each night, wishing I could hold you tight. Life seems so empty since you went away.
In every band, there is at least one person who is a little bit different from everyone else. In Washington, D.C. in 1982, this man was so different that a woman ran out of the crowd, jumped up on the stage and kissed him so hard he's never gotten over it. And she weighed 500 pounds. Ever bit up. It's our pleasure to bring the most unique singer of all, Rudy Martin from Enid. <laughs> KVOO Radio, every day, Monday through Saturday at noon, ladies and gentlemen, General Mills and Laro Feed have been happy to bring you Johnny Lee Wills and all his boys with Ken. stage at 5 o'clock for another 45-minute set, led by Roy Ferguson. Yeah, the Logston family is on next, and my brother keeps saying, we'll forfeit our time. <laughs> we'll be right back. Joe! 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 
Well, by God, you had to sleep all through this, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I see some see people all around. I, I hold their faces. I can't remember the Traditions 91 is being brought to you through the efforts of the Oklahoma Folklife Council, the Art